Hey there guys, welcome back. Um, I'm out here in the garden again, and I wanted to do a video uh, to update you on a couple of the videos I did uh, previous. One was the uh, the little micro swale for my fruit trees. Uh, these are some of my fruit trees right here. Uh, this is uh, our peach, that's an apple, and then I have a peach on the other side, and some plums uh, down this way. Uh, those guys are brand new, so we already pulled all the <laughs> what plums were on there, pulled them off so that it can put its energy towards uh, growing strong roots. Well, so anyway, uh, if you can see there in the background that little box, I showed it in the in the uh, water weir video. Uh, as you can see, there's the uh, two little water weirs for those uh, fruit tree wells. Um, but basically, the box is to divert uh, rainwater from that. Uh, little micro swale that I have a little bit upslope of the garden. Uh, so basically the rainwater is going to come in there and it's going to divert it evenly to the trees. So let me walk around uh, to the other side so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, let me get in here a little tight. Okay, so here it is. Just kind of a top view, super simple construction. Um, that's why I didn't really show uh, building it because uh, it was just really, really basic. But I'll open it up here. And as you can see that blue box right there is an old Ikea toolbox. Uh, let me see if I can move down in here for you. Uh, it was, I believe it was 97 cents or, or basically a buck. Um, there's my uh, inlet uh, coming from my swale uh, to collect the rainwater. And then once the water gets up uh, to the level of this PVC pipe, which is perfectly level, it'll go out both sides. I just cut that with a, uh, a little bandsaw um, just to take e either side off of it. Um, this pipe is a two inch pipe going to either side and this is a three inch. Um, based on the size of my uh, little micro swale, I don't think this will be overcome by uh, too much water. Um, but you know if it does it'll just pop this lid up and it'll still overflow into the uh, trees during a rain event anyway So once that fills up It'll come out uh, this side uh, Spill over into those rocks fill up this uh, apple tree well and eventually uh, overflow through that little weir and uh, uh, At the same time on this side. It's going to overflow right there into that peach tree and it'll fill up that well, overflow that little weir, run in there into this other peach tree. And then uh, I've just been working on a little riverbed kind of thing uh, that's lined with plastic underneath those rocks so that the water flows nicely into these little plum trees, uh, each one of these little wells. And I still need a mulch around here, so I'm sure somebody's going to say something <laughs> about needing some mulch. but. Anyway, that's, uh, oh, and then after that last one, it just goes on uh, to a larger swale that we have uh, feeding two trees that are around our chicken coop uh, that's right over there. Um, and as you, as you can see, we're just in the process of getting our garden beds planted. So let me get some water flowing and I'll show you kind of how this thing works. Um, oh, actually real quick, I'll show you, for some people who haven't seen the, the swale update, Basically, I've got a berm coming from the house. Um, it's starting over there, and this is on the contour of the land, so it's basically level. So the water's going to flow really slowly down here. Um, and then there's my culvert cistern. When that overflows, that water runs down here, hits the swale, comes down underneath that little junky pallet bridge. And then that swale also goes... Crap. Okay, that's that's professional camera ship right there. Um, so it just flows along there um, off into the desert where it collects a little bit more water. So there's not a whole lot of upslope to that swale. So I'm not thinking that it's going to collect too terribly much water, uh, but we'll see. So anyway, the inlet is right there. You can kind of see some rocks. Um, I'm going to seed this with some like some desert grasses or something just to kind of keep that soil from eroding. Um, but uh, let me flow some water so you can kind of see how this thing fills up. All right, so I just turned on my hose to uh, get this simulating uh, water uh, filling up from the uh, from a rain event, just in that little inlet. We'll come over here 
and come back to the uh, rainwater diversion box so you can kind of see it fill up and see it overflow. So, okay, there it's coming in. Uh, obviously, it's not uh, crystal clear water. It's got a little bit of dirt in it, but that's kind of why, uh, why I made it like this. I can pop this box out, uh, clean it out from any sediment or anything like that, but you'll see that just slowly filling up. Obviously, uh, this is just a real, real little amount of water uh, compared to what's, what's going to be flowing during a rain. But let's close this up. And we'll see what happens when it starts overflowing. All right, so I just cut you out a little bit while uh, this guy filled up. Um, that rain, uh, that uh, garden hose isn't flowing high flow with that little uh, dram head on it. But as you can see, it's just spilling over um, out of that side onto those rocks. It'll eventually fill up this this bed. And then during a rain event, I'm not going to have that uh, that weir in there. It's eventually going to flow out there. We'll take a look at this other side. Um, you can kind of see, cut a rough hole. I actually uh, started my hole a little bit uh, messed up. <laughs> but, you know, that's the way it is. Again, this pipe is perfectly level. Um, so both sides are letting out approximately... Um, the same amount of water so we'll open this again you can just see yeah there's some floaties from leaves and stuff like that um, but you can see the water just kind of uh, flows out each one of those ends I don't know if you can necessarily see that but uh, that's what it's doing it's just coming in from that top piece we'll just close that guy back up keep the snakes out but again as this fills up it's gonna go down here and fill these up it's basically just uh, my way of kind of trying to control uh, the amount of water uh, that flows into our trees uh, from the rains. Because obviously I don't want to, you know, direct a whole, uh, you know, 50,000 gallons of water through here, you know, wash out my trees and not have anything. But uh, that's kind of the, uh, the project right now. So um, hopefully when we get a uh, next rain event, I'll, I'll uh, be able to take some video and show you kind of how, how it's working. So... Anyway, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.